Welcome to my lecture online. So the question, why does anything exist, probably can be pushed onto the concept of an event that happened about 13.8 billion years ago, which we call the Big Bang. Now, what was the Big Bang? Well, it could have been many things. The very beginning of what the Big Bang was is very, very fuzzy. What I mean is, it's a theory, and there are a lot of things that don't quite fit together right, but it seems to be the best explanation. And before we throw it out all together, saying it's just a bunch of nonsense, there are quite a few observations we can make today that dovetail right into that theory that make some of the aspects of the theory quite plausible and even quite probable. But the very, very beginning is still very difficult to really get our hands around and know exactly what happened. But we do know that something must have happened about 13.8 billion years ago. And we can assume that the universe started as a tiny pocket of enormous temperature and enormous amount of energy. Now, how tiny a pocket? Well, some people say that it might have been started as something smaller than the size of an atom. Can you imagine all the energy that made up the entire universe starting from just a volume no bigger than an atom? Well, we're not sure that's actually what happened. We do imagine that it did start as a very small entity and then very quickly became very big. We'll talk about that in the next video. Here we just want to get a basic flavor of what we mean by the Big Bang. We also assume that in the first seconds, perhaps the first few minutes, but maybe as short as the first few seconds, all the matter that currently exists in the universe formed during that period of time. Now for that to be possible, there must be room for the material, room for the matter, and so at that point the universe must have been big enough. So if it started something really tiny, it must have very, very quickly grown to something really big so that matter could have formed. Also, that's where we assume that time itself started. We understand that time is just a progression of events from one to the next, and that that happens at a particular sequence, a particular cadence. We call that time. But did time always exist? Was there a period before the universe existed that time itself had no meaning in that sense? We have some videos about time, and you may want to go back and take a look at those to get a feel what we think time might actually be. But then afterwards, as all the matter of the universe then existed in a reasonably small region compared to the size of the universe today, the universe continued to expand. And as the universe expanded, it continued to cool down. And as the universe cooled down, eventually the matter that existed at the time, which was primarily protons and electrons, could then eventually join together. If the universe was too hot, in the beginning it was too hot, they could not join together because the heat of the universe would cause the electrons to move away from the protons, essentially ionizing what we call hydrogen. A proton electron is hydrogen, and the electrons would be ripped off from the heat, and therefore they could not join, and hydrogen could not be formed. It was simply just electrons and protons just whirling around together without actually forming hydrogen. We also think that in the first 20 minutes of the existence of the universe, that a quarter of that hydrogen actually fused into helium, kind of through the same process that happens inside the core of stars. And we'll talk about that a little bit more as well in the next video, because that's a very interesting event in itself. So the universe started with just energy. Then it became protons, electrons. Then in about 20 minutes from the very start of the universe, a quarter of that hydrogen then turned into helium, or the quarter of the protons turned into alpha particles, or the nuclei of helium. And then eventually, after 380,000 years, when the universe cooled down sufficiently, the electrons began to join with the protons to form hydrogen, and the electrons began to, to join with the alpha particles to form helium. And at that point, a quarter of the universe was helium and three quarters was hydrogen. But there were no stars, no galaxies, just matter floating around in very dense formations. 
We do realize that there was differences in the density of that material and where the, the material was the most dense, that's where stars would begin to form, that's where galaxies would begin to form. But that would take perhaps millions of years because stars just don't form immediately, they take time to form. And again, we'll talk about why that is so in a later video. But we can imagine then that after this event, about 380,000 years after the start of the universe, we had what we call a decoupling event, where the energy that was still contained within all that matter was free to roam to the universe, and electrons joined to protons, electrons joined to alpha particles that became atoms, and at that point, the universe became completely pitch black. There was absolutely no light in the universe whatsoever. The darkest of the dark, if you can imagine that. And then slowly over the millions of years, stars began to form and little flickers of light began to form inside the universe and slowly begin to light up the universe. And as galaxies began to form, we had regions where there was lots of light close to the stars. And of course, regions away from the galaxies were very, very dark where there are no stars at all. So that's what we think happened at the very beginning. Again, why does anything exist? Well, it had to have an event to start the universe. Now, how did that start? That, of course, can still be up for a tremendous debate. What we can do as scientists is try to piece together the events that must have happened based upon what we currently observe. But the details of what exactly happened, how large the universe started out to be, what was around that small pocket of energy that became the universe, all that, we of course have no idea. That's up for philosophers to try and come up with. We have no evidence of what might have been before, was this a singular event that happened in history? Or has it happened more? Were there more universes before? We have no idea. All we know today is that the universe is continuing to expand, presumably from that initial start 13.8 billion years ago. The galaxies are still moving apart from each other. And based upon our observations, we can kind of piece the pieces of the puzzle together to try and understand why we can answer the question, perhaps in some general form, why does anything exist at all? Because some event, which we call the Big Bang, whatever it may be, happened way back then. And that is why we currently exist.